nice sunny day today and I'm going to be working indoors all day. We've got, uh, we've done day five, and we've five different locations, four or five locations, just doing basically the same things from emergency lights that have failed the test. Just got to replace the units. There's a couple of different ones. There's a couple of bulkheads, I think, and a couple of like the circuit 2D fittings, and then a couple of the 600 by 600 modular panel fittings. But first of all, there's been a report of sockets not working in this block here. So I'm going to pop in there and have a look and see what we can find. Move inside here now. Painters have said these sockets aren't working, so I'm just going to plug this little. Nope, nothing in there. I'll have a look in this cupboard. There's the consumer unit and nothing else you want for the sockets, nothing's tripped there. I'm just going to check the other couple of sockets in case it's just that one that's not working. Right, we're we'll gonna have a look at the board and we'll see what we can figure out there. I've got the top off the consumer unit. There's the breaker, the 16 out one for the sockets. And just check. Right, on your row, 240 volts, right, 239. Just try it across there. Yep, 239. And into the new row. And there's a loose connection somewhere in one of the sockets so it's time to start whipping the socket fronts off see what we can find right isolate the supply to this so we'll take this one off first and have a look inside see down there and there's a socket on each one this is the top one here only one cable coming in so this will be the final one so I've linked the live and neutral together obviously disconnected from the consumer unit and then I'm going to go down each one and check if we've got continuity between line and neutral and then that'll prove we've got a link all the way down right I've tested all them other ones there's the one on the top floor which I linked out and then one below one below that and this is the final one on the bottom so if we check always check your meter first yeah you see continuity so between line and sort of neutral and line we've got continuity so we know the circuit's completed right way up to that top socket at least so now i'm going to check continuity between here and the supply at the board so i've just come back to the board now and there's the line and there's the neutral check continuity and nothing as expected now I've just looked and I don't think you can see that but there's two and a half comes down it looks like it comes down into this almost emergency light test point now I reckon that somebody's come to test emergency lights thinking that's to control them sort of thing and then uh, it actually turns the sockets off so I'm going to try flicking that switch and then I'll check it again see what happens Oh, would you believe it? Absolutely crazy. Just flick that and we'll try continuity. There we go. So that there is in fact the turning the sockets off in the communal stairways and not the emergency light test. So whoever's come and done the emergency light test, just flick that off. Nicely at the socket, so I'll have to think of some way. I think I'll just do away with that. That's not really needed, I don't think. Would that was that uh, job done? Well that's that little problem solved. At first, I thought it was absolutely crap as having that little, what is it, like a secret test switch thing to turn the sockets off. But thinking about it, probably not a bad idea because it, there's four apartments up there on each level and a socket 
literally next to the front door so somebody could just open that door and plug in and have free electric supply off the communal supply so I can see why they've done it but they obviously don't use it because the cleaners didn't know it was there so what I decided to do was I just labelled it up saying communal socket isolation I'll just leave it like that all I can think that's happened is the uh, engineer who's come and done the emergency light test the other week has flicked it off thinking that was to isolate the emergency lights and obviously hasn't put it back on so that's that one sorted anyway um right i'm gonna move on now and do some emergency light repairs i think i'll video those separately probably put those on as a separate video so as always thanks very much for watching and please like and subscribe we'll see you next time